All right, so today we're going to go over what conditional formatting is and how it can be used. Uh, this data that I have here are months and <clears throat> average highs, lows, record high, record lows. So let's, uh, let's start formatting this. The first one we're going to format is from B2 down to M3. All right, so all of the average highs and lows. You can see right here on my home tab, I have the conditional formatting button. All right. Let me explain this as we go through. So when it, conditional formatting is making your data more visually, I guess, pleasing, um, easier to, to recognize uh, more quickly. For example, uh, you can highlight cells based on if it's greater or less than a number. Uh, you can highlight them if it's between two numbers or equal to. Also allows for text that contains maybe a word or a date occurring before or after, and duplicate values uh, if you're looking for that. Also a top and bottom rule, so the top 10 items are top 10%. You can also change the top 10% to top 20, top 50. You can change the bottom to bottom 5. Uh, so it's not just uh, to this, this is just the default. So even if I click here, you can see that I can change the percent. I can say top, bottom. Uh, classic is just um, a one one highlighted, which is going to be in this red red fill. I can change that to to one of these or do a custom format. Uh, <clears throat> moving on here, so we have data bars. Data bars is uh, like a bar graph essentially in each cell representing the value. We have color scales, it's going to be the one that we do here. So you can see blue on top, red on the bottom means that uh, blue will indicate the high numbers, red will indicate the low numbers. We're going to use this one because red is going to indicate hot, blue is going to ind indicate cold. All right, so you can see we have our hot months here in July, August, and September, and our cooler months in December, January, February. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just select record highs, so B4 through M4. We also have something called icon sets. So icon sets here are going to use your icons to represent whether it's high, medium, uh, or low. So uh, we have different shapes and indicators and, and ratings uh, that are here. So just to show you what that looks like, represented high numbers with the green arrow up. And you can see lower with the red arrow down. And in your middle ground, you either have it pointing to the right or 45 degree off angle, up or down. <clears throat> Record lows. I like that row. And this is where I'm going to throw some data bars in here just to show you guys what that looks like. So you can see how it looks like a bar graph. The higher the value, the more of that cell is filled with that color so if you highlight all of your data now and go into manage rules you're going to see that these are the three conditional formatting pieces that i set you can see the ants kind of highlighting the data that's being being worked on so if i go into we'll say i don't want it to be blue i can go to edit rule you can see that if it were to be negative we don't have any negative numbers um, but maybe I want this to be green. You can even change your borders and hit OK, and our colors will change there. If you just highlight that one, it's going to only only see that one rule rule there. So you can change your colors. Uh, if you want to get, you can be very specific with your lowest value, so I could type in, uh, well, it's, it's going to take my lowest value, or I can type in a number, and say zero, highest is 100. And we'll just go 50 here. That looks nasty. I don't like that at all. So 
it, it does take some playing around with um, when you're doing a color scale to make it look and, and be what you want it to be. So remember, I had my maximum at 100. All right, so that's why that 72 is kind of in that yellow greenish area. All right, guys, so that is conditional formatting. Uh, you can also clear your rules. You can create a new rule here, uh, but usually setting something, uh, and then if you need to manage it, those are going to be the biggest things that, that you're probably going to use. So there you go, guys. Uh, there's your conditional formatting walkthrough.